In terms of part two questions, remember this is the long answer. So here's a good example for you here with a city. Notice here they have lots of WH questions. So that's very common in a part two question. The good thing to notice here is the tense. In terms of you answering this question, the tense is usually very consistent. So we see this is about the future and all parts of the question relate to the future. You have time to take notes. So you spend your one minute. You only have one minute. To, to write your notes, but notice here this person's writing down lots of key ideas and also grammar tenses. Okay, see that there? Lots of wood. You should be using wood a lot in your answer. They've got some adjectives and nouns and things they're going to write about. Just the key ideas, notice that. Notice when they mention a friend, they're writing down she. A lot of people get confused with personal pronouns and switch between she and he. So writing that down there, that'll be good for coherence, for example. So these little notes here are helping with vocab. They're helping with grammar with the word would. They're hoping with co helping with coherence with the word she. Okay. Remember, yet two minutes is quite a long time. 